Air Corps films of a Burma jungle rescue. A PT-19 crashed three minutes flying time from its base. A day and a half of cutting through the jungle is needed to reach the injured pilot. The pilot is given medical attention while engineers clear space for a helicopter landing. Although scene of the crash was only three minutes flying time from Shingbuyang airfield, the dense jungle made it necessary for the pilot to be flown out. Request is made for additional medical supplies and food. Smoke flares are used to help the Parapac supply planes locate the isolated spots and check the wind. Supplies had to be dropped in pinpoint landing so that they'd not miss the small target and float into inaccessible valleys. Water, penicillin, and blood plasma were among the supplies dropped. A blood transfusion is given the injured pilot, who suffered a possible broken pelvis and back, broken teeth and jaw, a severe brain concussion, and possible internal injuries. A hastily erected bamboo platform serves as a hospital, while the supply chutes are used for tent covering, padding, and bed clothes. Under skillful medical care, the flyer improves steadily while awaiting removal to an evacuation hospital. Engineers and the ATC rescue crew, including 11 Negro troops, using hand axes, a power saw which had been dropped by plane and dynamite blasts, carve a level clearing out of the dense jungle hilltop. A special liquid diet, parapacked in ice, is given the wounded flyer to help him gain strength for needed surgery and his approaching removal. After two weeks' work, a heavy log rolls the finishing touches on the airstrip. Finally, request is made for the helicopter. A 10th Air Force helicopter flies to the area from Xingbuyang. The 50 by 50 foot clearing looks like a postage stamp from the air. Smoke flares are sent up to indicate wind direction. Tricky air currents due to the terrain's sharp contours make landing difficult. But after three tries, the helicopter makes a perfect landing and is quickly anchored. The pilot is carried 300 yards from the hospital tent to the strip and the waiting helicopter. He's given hypo injections to ease the pain of the return flight. The patient is strapped into a basket litter which had been dropped previously by a supply plane with instructions for putting it in the helicopter. In a short time, the helicopter is on its way back to Xingguiang, where an ambulance waits to take the pilot to a hospital. Two and a half weeks of skillful, untiring work have saved the airman's life.